Hi everybody, happy Monday. Welcome to KO Crafts with Kelly. I'm obviously Kelly. Um, it's Monday and I am going to tell you about all the stuff I've been doing since I've been gone for three weeks sick. So um, yeah, so I got two more hats done for Hat Not Hate, which by the way, one of my Aussie friends said they do this. They do their hats in purple and they call it beanies, not meanies. Is that not great? I love that. Beanies, not meanies. Okay, so here's the first one. And I really like it. And this one is called the Mo Mossy Cobblestone Beauty. And I will put the link under it for that. Um, I do believe this is a paid for pattern, but I'll try and put the link on it so you can get it if you want. Um, the next one I did was called the Argyle Beanie, which you can make a slouch hat, a messy bun, or a, this is the slouch, this is the um, beanie, and then this is the messy bun. Um, and this is the one blue I did. And this one I did in um, size four yarn, and it's really thick. I mean, it's, I don't know that I would make any more of them in that thickness, um, but I really like the pattern. I think it's so cute. Um, then I also did my, uh, one, I make one, one a month, I make something warm that I'm going to donate. Um, and so I did that same pattern in this, and this is the Mandala Mandalia up there right there and this is a size three and a thread and I like it so much better and then because I wanted to do the same pattern but you got you got to do it in a round I couldn't do a scarf so I just took that pattern extended it and I did a cowl to go with it which I've never made a cowl so I just kind of had to make up the size but um it's got the same pattern then, and I just increased a couple rows here and a couple rows here, and then I stopped. And then I added, this is a pattern that repeats every eight. So I just kept adding eight stitches until it was the size I wanted it to be. So that will be my April donation, the Hattons. And I did use two separate uh, skeins of the mandala so that I could make the colors semi-match. Semi so, yeah. Um, I also have been working on a uh, Christmas gift, a blanket. I can't say it too loud because I don't want my daughter to hear, granddaughter to hear it. Um, but I will insert a picture at the end of this video so you can see it. I'm loving how it's turning out. However, I am running out of some of the yarn and it's a, uh, I used Yarn B Soft Secretly, which is strictly Hobby Lobby, and they are out of one of they are out of three of the four I need. So I'm waiting for those to come back in stock. So I'm going to be done working on that shortly. And I will have to go back to the Spider-Man one, which isn't as fun to work on, but it has to be done too. So that is what I've been doing um, with all my time off since I've been sick and since I was quarantined. Now that I'm not sick, I am back to watching the kids during the day. So I don't have as much time to work on things. Um, I have started a my second shark blanket since the other one wasn't working out. Um, however, I did take all your advice and I'm not going to frog that. I'm going to just finish it off as a straight blanket and just put it on the couch for, excuse me, for decoration. That Because I don't think it would frog well. So I will show you that when it's done also. Um, so other than that, I really don't have a lot to say. Haven't left the house. The kids are here. We've been... Um, Going outside, playing in the backyard, going for walks uh, a lot yesterday. <laughs> Last week, we blew bubbles and ran around in shorts. This week, we put on snow boots and snow hats and all that and built snowmen. So, you know, there you go. Hmm. Yeah. So that's what we're doing with our time. Um, a lot of... A lot of creativity. I do want to tell you, though, my daughter's... Uh, 
school principal where she teaches and my granddaughter goes there she did the funnest thing um we're sitting there getting ready to make lunch and stuff and our doorbell rings we don't get a lot of company so you know we're like hmm. so we go look and there's a note hanging on our door and i'll show you the note because i still have it that says you've been egged and then it had her name and then it had just a little message which we have passed this forward and what it is is they hid eight plastic eggs in the yard for the kids to go now how cool is that i mean that was so fun for them they had a ball they went out ran around the yard did the easter egg hunt and all that so then we took the plastic eggs filled them up and whited out this stuff and we paid it forward to one of my granddaughter's friends so who has four kids so they had a ball with that so um, we did that and we are doing a lot of family games a lot of crafts um, and just spending time together so um, I hope you guys are making the best of this situation also um, if you are all by yourself please you know reach out to friends if you need to um, you know, Skype with them, call them on the phone, you know, do what you need to do. If you are secluded with family, please enjoy that time with them. Um, you know, this is a great time to bring family together, make great memories. You know, don't think of it as a bad thing. Think of it as a good thing. Um, you got to be locked in anyway, so why not make the best of it and make great memories? So I hope everybody is doing okay, staying safe, staying healthy, and having fun. So I will talk to you later. God bless and have a great day.